So now you have decided to move forward with the request that you have heard from your customers, you have planned it, and now you want to make sure that what you are building is something that hopefully it's valid for that customer and potentially other customers that would have a similar problem as that initial customer. You want to make sure that this request that the customers are having is actually a relatively global request from other of your customers. This might be by certain type of user personas that you would make sure that they are having a similar need than this original customer has and then this is helping me validate the problem that they were requesting me initially those uh, initial customers. So first of all you want to validate the initial request to the customer so the initial problem that the customer is actually having and then you potentially if you have been already working with your uh, potential solution you want to make sure that this solution actually validate is validated by that same customer or potentially other customers that you would be involving in this kind of a user research project. So once you have done this, you might have done some initial thoughts and potentially have a meeting with some customers and try to explain to them that this approach and this potential initial problem are something that you could uh So you want to validate with this initial customer and potentially other customers if this original problem is you understood it correctly, it's a problem that they have, and you want to validate a potential idea or solution that you have on how to solve it. So once you explain to your customer, potentially this customer is going to have some comments on the approach. So here you have two options. Option one, you take those comments from the customer, potentially adapt the solution according to those comments that they have, and move on and start the execution with your team. And then there's the second option where you actually decide that, hey, this is something that potentially I would like to involve the customers and work together with them throughout the whole execution process. So I want to make sure that I am validating all the time with the customer, not only the problem, but also getting them involved in ideating the solution and actually giving me feedback while I'm going with different types of prototypes, testing sessions, and so on. In the second case, you will move on to a design thinking process. Now, it's time for picking an option. 